Hello everyone and welcome back to the boxing. Last time we unlocked our first middleweight character and we're going to unlock the rest now. When you're playing as Puma, the only thing you really need to worry about is landing that machine gun punch. As soon as you do that, you basically win. Puma also has the longest reach of any of the characters so far, so it can make landing it kind of easy. So that's Puma's entire character in a nutshell. Land the machine gun punch and you win. Now we're going to play as Prince, who's a little bit difficult to get used to after the more overpowered characters. Prince is a very middle-of-the-road character. All of his stats are incredibly average. The only thing he has going for him is his special attack, which is kind of erratic. It can be used to confuse the computer and hopefully a human opponent, but this game isn't really made for multiplayer. Unfortunately, we're going up against Misha, who is a bad match for Prince in every way. Prince's special attack can normally be used to force computers back into corners, but Misha has a whole lot of speed, so it's not quite working out that way for us here. She punches faster, blocks faster, and moves faster all around than we do. She's actually the hardest character to unlock, I find. When we do get a hold of her though, she'll be worth it. So just as a quick spoiler, I lose this match. I, I absolutely lose this match. She just, uh, she just completely kicks me down. So we're gonna skip ahead to when I did it right. So what I should have been doing to win is spamming his special attack non-stop until the computer screwed up. When your character is in worse shape uh, than the opponent in every way, that's generally the winning strategy. As you can see, I was trying to show you that she ducks our high punches, so that's a no-go. It took me an embarrassing amount of tries to win as Prince. Uh, most of the victories in this game are decided by stats before the match happens. But now we have Misha, and Misha is absolutely worth it. She is a complete death machine. As far as I know, she is the single fastest character in the game. And her special attack closes the gap so quickly that the computers often can't react in time. No matter what you're doing, she's good at it. That was the last middleweight character, though. From here on, it's heavyweight. So we're gonna have to do ranking matches with Misha until she gets to be a heavyweight character. And we're gonna take her all the way to the World Cup. So Misha kind of meets her match here. Ryoko is the second fastest character in the game. And as always, she is very good at defending her face. Thankfully, faster attacks means faster low punches, so we can whittle down her stamina bar and it won't be a problem. We do have a longer reach than her, but we can't really make use of it here.
Her tendency to defend her face really well also means it's very hard to surprise her with our special. Her health is low enough right now, though, that we can just keep punching her in her face, regardless of her defenses, and we won't really have to worry. We're just in that much better shape. So with Puma, as always, we need to watch out for his machine gun punch, but otherwise our strategy is basically the same as it has been with everyone else so far. His reach is longer than ours, but we're right up in his face, and we're moving so fast that he really can't do anything about it. Both Misha and Puma are Detroit-style fighters, so it basically just comes out to whoever's the most aggressive. Thanks to our low punches, his stamina gauge didn't refill very much, so we can go in for the killing blow this round. We have to be careful though, because while we're going for face attacks, he can do uppercuts. Being aggressive is definitely the way to go when your opponent's low on health, but it does leave you open. Tanaka here is a peekaboo style fighter, which means he's focused mostly on defense, and like Baby T, he looks for just the right moment to strike. This means, again, that we're safe to go on the offensive, unless we, you know, are completely careless and do face punches all the time. Because peekaboo style fighters love when you leave yourself open. The thing about Misha is that you can be a lot more careless with her than any other fighter just because she's so dang fast. Tanaka's putting up a hell of a fight though and you might figure that's because he has some pretty good stats, but that's not the case at all. Aside from his incredible stamina, Tanaka doesn't have a lot going for him. He has probably the worst stats of all the fighters. When you're in World Cup mode, though, every fighter is challenging. The AI gets pretty insane. We're not doing so hot, but we still have way more room to recover than he does. Even when we're in trouble, Misha's very fast, so she's also very fast at retreating. We just need to make sure we survive till the end of the round, and then we can take him out for good. Using the special attack right here was probably not my smartest idea. We're not in the best shape right now, but his health's so low that it's now or never. So you might remember Silverman from a while back when we completely destroyed him. 
Silverman is meant to be kind of a bridge between the middleweight characters and the heavyweight characters, but his stats are very underwhelming. The biggest thing to worry about with him is that he can take a lot of blows and his special attack can easily be disguised as a normal low punch. As you can see right here, we almost put him down for the count, but he manages to counter my last special. He's really no problem at all. Once their health gets down this slow, you can pretty much take whatever blows you need to to finish them off, because you're obviously doing perfectly fine in comparison. We gotta go for the dramatic big finish. And now with Misha in the heavyweight class, we can take on our first heavyweight character, Geo. So Geo can't guard. He just focuses completely on offensive. He is unable to block our attacks. He can still dodge them, but he can't block at all. This makes it a lot easier to take him out than it ordinarily would be because he has the longest reach of any of the characters in the game and he is deathly powerful. All of the heavyweight characters are basically slow, burly bruisers, and they can really put you down quickly if you leave yourself open. So what we need to do here is start making use of Misha's speed and uh, Geo's inability to guard. We're going to spam our special attack at him because there's not much he can do about it. The only thing we really have to worry about is getting far enough away to use the special attack because it does require some room, as you've noticed. And we've got him this round, we just have to stop him now before his health can refill, I'm sorry, before his stamina can refill any, because we haven't done much in the way of lowering his stamina gauge. He's almost down though. There we go. And now that we've unlocked our first heavyweight character, that's enough for now, and I'll see you next time.